My name is Cody Nance. I'm from Paris, Tennessee. Great. And C- Cody, tell me a little bit about, uh, well, first, your growing up and uh, how you actually yeah. got into the sport. Well, like, I think I was two years old when I first watched it, and I just feel like ever since then I was trying to ride something, uh, whether it be the arm of the couch or I'd be riding horses all the time, and I just loved bull riding. I played uh, like a like a bullfighter around with my dad and, you know, rode him like a bull, and it's just something I think was in my blood. But my mom didn't want me to ride for a long, long time. I didn't get to go on until I was 14, and it was uh, one of those things Pop said – He'll probably just get bucked off and get stepped on or, you know, we don't want him to, and he won't want to do it no more, but we don't want him sneaking off and doing it on his own without our support. So they agreed to let me get on and they started something there. I got on three the first night. Uh, She asked me how I liked it. I said, I love it. Well, it was one of those things my family couldn't afford to support because we had entry fees and traveling expenses and I was 14. So they took me to some events and that was the most, uh, got supported until I, I was 15 and they gave me a stack of release forms and said these should work wherever you go and I had a job and I was affording my own entry fees and yeah. so then uh, from then on I was pretty well on my own with it and I turned 18 got my PBR card and in 2009 I got a job where I was able to hang guardrails, make enough money, and it really made me strong too. And I was able to get on a lot of bulls, and so just everything worked together to get me on tour that year. And I ended up winning Rookie of the Year in 2009, and I haven't looked back. I've been here ever since. Growing up, um, learning how to ride bulls, you know, had to get on lots and lots of bulls in order to be able to develop those reaction skills that it takes to maneuver on the back of one of them animals. They're leading the dance, per se. They're going to be doing their deal. you got to be able to ride him through it. you got to, you can't predict what he's going to do next. you got to just be with him jump for jump. And it's eight seconds, but it feels like an eternity on the back of one of them animals. They weigh 12, 1,300 pounds to 2,000 or more you know and you're not going to out power them you're not going to do that you're just going to have to be able to get up on your legs and and take the uh, use the technique that we learn and we develop over time in order to be able to take the power away from that animal uh, while we ride and so then by doing that um, you create a rhythmic motion and the bull he has a rhythm and then you find that rhythm and you're you get tuned in with that rhythm and you have a split fraction of a second in order to be able to think about the next jump so you don't have time to think about it so then you get in timing with him and and whenever you get in timing with him and it, and it the they, we call that tapped off i'm tapped off i'm riding him he's not going to throw me everything at that point's finally stopped it's like you're in the eye of the storm and you're still riding and everything's clicking but it's it's so natural and it feels good and that's what we look forward to every time and when we get that feeling we step off there ain't no other feeling in the world like it